If you are not yet on the Instagram reel train, why not? If it's because you're stumped for content ideas on how to make reels, then stay tuned because this video is for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, the place to be for bosses and business owners who wanna show up consistently and creatively, and most importantly, through their content. Before we dive into this video, I wanted to let you know that if you are new to Instagram Reels or you are just not yet sure how to use them, then I want you to go and watch this video that we created last week, which is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Instagram Reels. You're going to want to watch that before you watch this video today. Okay, so obviously if you're still here, you're familiar with Instagram Reels, but maybe you're just stuck for ideas. Maybe you just feel like you sit down and it takes a lot of time because you're not sure where to get ideas from. Well, today I wanna to give you three different ways to find content ideas for reels that are all different and that will allow you to be able to sit down and pump them out like it's the easiest thing that you've done for the day. Okay, so with that being said, let's jump into the first way to find content ideas for Instagram Reels. Okay, so this first way is all about being entertainment led. And what I mean by that is grab your phone with me go to Instagram, go to your explore page, and then click on the reels. They should be the first thing showing up in your explore feed. Click on the reels. And then I want you to start just watching them. Just scroll through and watch them. And anything that really stands out to you that you find is funny, if you thought it was clever, if it made you smile or laugh, I want you to go into that down the bottom there's three dots click on that and just hit save i don't want you to worry about the industry that's on the channel i don't want you to worry about whether it's a stay-at-home mom or a high-powered ceo or both or whether it's someone cooking i just want you to save the ones that stand out to you and evoke some kind of response for you okay now in this exercise what i will say to do is steer away from the depressing or the sad or the heavy uh reels that you see because there are a few of them out there where people are telling emotional stories or they're talking about things that have happened to them um, i would avoid those the reason that you want to do this is because you're trying to run a business so we want to keep things light. We want to keep them educational. We want to keep it happy and upbeat because we really don't want people to associate those negative emotions with our business. Now, maybe it's a little bit different if um, you're in the emergency industries or you might be in counseling or something like that. And it actually makes sense for you to maybe take it down a notch and present something in that way. But for the most part, we want to keep things light. We want to keep it happy. We want to keep it fun and we want to keep it upbeat. So save the ones that cause you to smile. Okay. Now the reason that I got you to do that is because later on when you go and spend time creating reels, what you want to do is open up the ones you saved and simply overlay the concept into your industry or your niche or your knowledge bank and make it work for you. It will require you to maybe have a little bit more of a brainstorming session with yourself than the other options that I've got coming, but it's just a really good way to do something that you know is going to relate to your ideal client in a way that is fun and light and will make them smile, which ultimately makes it much easier to follow you because they know that you're gonna bring them something positive. Before I share ways two and three with you about how to find content ideas for Instagram Reels, I wanted to let you know that I have a content roadmap in the description below for you. It's free, it's a downloadable, and it literally shows you how to create content, how to find ideas, how to store the content once you've made it, and how to repurpose it. It is an actual roadmap full of check boxes and action items for you. So pop into the description below and get that for yourself and make content so much easier with this roadmap. Okay, so you're going to wanna open up your Instagram app and navigate to your profile page. 
Then tap the lines that appear in the top right hand corner and that's going to bring up a whole list of options for you. You're going to want to go into your insights. Then tap on content you've shared, the little arrow there. And then really from this point, it's up to you how you want to order your content. But I would suggest going through and um, ordering it in terms of reach or engagement. So reach or comments. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use the reach metric. And what you're going to want to do is go into those top performing posts and then have a look at those posts and see what it is about them that you could potentially repurpose into an Instagram reel. So the first one of mine is uh, essentially a tweet and it was near the start of COVID and it says things to try when self-isolating, read a book, self-care, clean something or rest. And in reality, you're scrolling endlessly until your eyes bleed. That would actually be a really easy one for me to turn into an Instagram reel where I could have different shots of me reading a book or, you know, putting on moisturizer, um, cleaning something, resting on the bed, and then the reality is me sitting there in track pants and sweatshirt with my hair in a messy bun scrolling without blinking on my phone, right? And so then I could put some words around it to give it a little bit of context, but you can see how I already know that that piece of content performed really, really well. Now, it's not the world's best example because we are moving through COVID and maybe that's not um, contextually going to work as well as it did back then. However, you can see that I was able to immediately in my mind turn it into a reel and I already know that that content worked for my audience and so therefore I can safely assume that it's probably going to work in a visual manner as well. So my second one here is, um, I mean, you can see it on the screen, choices we think we have when someone says to do video and as you swipe across, these are the actual choices that you have. Now I used this the other day to create a reel based off of this content. It wasn't exactly the same. Instead of showing this comparison, I just gave ideas about how people could use videos um, for their social media. So it was this video here, nine ways to use video. So you can see how I repurposed that idea of well-performing content into an Instagram reel. So you can do that. Now, maybe you haven't been on Instagram long or you don't feel like you have any particularly well-performing posts. You could always do it with a blog post or um, perhaps you're in a Facebook group where somebody asked a question and it got a ton of responses. You could use that as your education piece and speak into it. You could use that question and give your answer to that, or maybe you could give common answers that you know are wrong and then your answer, which you believe to be right. Okay, so there's so many different ways that we can take the education led avenue to create Instagram reels that we know our audience is going to resonate with and we know that's going to be beneficial for them. What matters most is the content in the reel. With these education led ideas, it can be as simple as popping a piece of music behind the content that you're creating. Maybe you're talking directly to the camera, which is fine. You don't have to do crazy transitions. Maybe you've taken that question from the Facebook group and put it up as some text, and now you're gonna answer it. Maybe you're gonna answer it speaking, maybe you're gonna answer it with text. I don't want you to overthink the format as much as I want you to remember that it's the content within the reel that matters, right? And the, and the reason that we're capitalizing on Instagram Reels right now is because Instagram is favoring it and pushing it out. So it's more important that you get it done and that you get good, good content in there than that you worry heavily about transitions and making it look like a piece of art. 
If this video is giving you massive value, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button below and also give this video a thumbs up because that helps me know what to create for you. Okay, so my third and final way for you to find content ideas for Reels is to lead with testimonials. And those testimonials can be about anything. It can be client testimonials or it can be proof that you know how to do something that you want to do more of. So let me explain. If you're wanting more webinar opportunities, speaking opportunities, workshopping opportunities, then if you've already got video of you doing those things, to be able to pop that into a reel and put a call to action at the end so the people that will book you for those things or the people that you want to see you do those things, know where to reach out to you or where to download your media, media kit or whatever you've got going on for you. And in the same way that maybe you have a course you wanna sell, maybe you have services you wanna sell, if you have proof of you doing those things, so for us, filming our clients, creating content with our clients, putting that into an Instagram reel and then having that call to action at the end. Hey, if you wanna work with us, email me here, call me here. Maybe you've got a downloadable or a freebie. Putting that into the reel and then having a call to action at the end be a great way of you getting your message out there because sometimes we do forget to sell. We do forget that this isn't just about giving pure value. At the end of the day, value from us also comes from having people pay us for the things that we do and the things that we sell. Make sure you're putting those testimonial led pieces of content into reels as well so that people know how they can work with you and what you do. And there you have it, three non-overwhelming ways to find content ideas for your Instagram Reels. Remember, if you love this video, subscribe to my channel below. We have tutorials coming out every single week across social media and content and video, and I would love to have you on board. Remember to give this one a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.